Hello, friends. What are the risks of Earth's overpopulation? In today's consumer world, even 8 billion people leave a serious imprint on our planet. But what will happen if, say, there are a decillion people on it? Space on our planet is limited, and the resources necessary to sustain life will eventually run out. But let's start, so to speak, with the small things. There are 150 million square kilometers of land and 350 million square kilometers of water on Earth. At most, we can allocate only a third of the land for public use. The rest will have to be given over to technical needs. As a result, we are left with 50 million square kilometers or 50 trillion square meters. How many people can physically fit on such a territory? Considering that one person needs about 20 square meters for a more or less comfortable life, it turns out to be 2.5 trillion people. But if the people of the future will only build 100-story skyscrapers, then theoretically you could fit 250 trillion people. Of course, we will have to forget about any standard nine-story buildings and cozy quiet streets. However, as Romania researcher Viorel Bodescu claims, due to technical progress, the Earth's population could be increased by 200,000 times, which would amount to about one and a half quadrillion people. What are the implications of this? Richard Cathcart, a geographer from California and a futurist, is quite pessimistic in his forecasts. We will live like sardines in a can. When there will be one quadrillion people living on Earth, it will look like the Death Star from the movie Star Wars. Most people will live in 500-story skyscrapers, half of which will be underground. Daylight will become an exceptional luxury, as over the ocean territory, which will be populated by that time. Giant coverings will have to be installed, and the land expanses will be hermetically sealed. The entire surface will be covered with solar energy collectors and reflectors, giving people the ability to control sunlight and temperature inside. At the same time, there will be about 25,000 people per square kilometer of the Earth's surface. Scientists say advancements in genetics and biotechnology will prevent food shortages. No need to fret about water with desalination plants and ocean water, and soon, we could consume artificially or rapidly grown products. As for fuel, German historian and political scientist Susan Heim believes that if all people on Earth consume as much energy as residents of developed countries, oil will quickly run out. According to preliminary forecasts, it will last somewhere until 2090. And what will happen with a decillion people? For reference, a decillion is a one with 33 zeros or a thousand quadrillion quadrillions. In short, just a huge number of residents. In that case, everything will look like some kind of science fiction movie, where on some overpopulated planets, cities were built on top of each other. In such a world, it would be impossible to survive without innovations. By that time, it would be good to develop inexhaustible sources of energy based on the theory of ether. Also learn to synthesize food and all the necessary elements of the Mendeleev table from ether. What did Tesla dream about in his time? And of course, create an anti-gravity engine that would allow people to relocate from the surface of the Earth on millions of huge spaceships. Then the housing issue would be completely resolved. But let's return to the modern world. Having reached the mark of 11 billion humanity, apparently, will slow down its growth, says ecologist and candidate of biological sciences, Sviatoslav Zabalin. It's a law of nature. The planet's biosphere controls the population. Once a certain limit is reached, the planet's population will begin to decrease for natural reasons. The same mechanism operates in other living beings. Ultimately, everything will depend on how society organizes its life. Will it be able to abandon its barbaric attitude towards each other and start building a beautiful future for all through joint efforts? Develop new technologies or build military equipment to take away the crumbs that are still left from others? Current estimates of the planet's ability to feed the maximum number of people reach up to 100 billion. According to demographers, population growth will stop at the 14 billion mark, after which there will be a decline or new technologies will allow us to cross this limit.